Thanks for watching this presentation. This is Wajid Ab. I am a product line manager at Luna Innovations. And today I'm going to present the advanced photonics Tesla measurement solutions that we offer for characterizing photonics integrated circuits. Luna Innovations was founded in 1990. It's a global company, uh, different offices in many regions, and we are specialized in advanced fiber optic measurement and sensing solutions. So we work with customers in different industries, ra ranging from telecom to medical, aerospace and defense. And we supply those customers with uh, advanced technologies to enable them deliver better products and processes faster and more efficiently. Over the past few years, uh, there was an increase in the demand for more bandwidth and higher bit rates. So the optical connectivity moved from long haul and metro networks to the chip level. Now it's become possible to integrate multiple functions and multiple components on a single chip. And those photonics integrated circuits are complex systems and they introduce many technical and testing challenges. And there's a need now for a modern test and measurement solutions which can address those technical challenges and um, quantitatively characterize uh, the photonics integrated circuits um, with, with high confidence. Luna Innovations has developed multiple technologies and in this presentation I will talk about the all of the art technology, the optical frequency domain reflectometer. This technology employs a coherent swoop laser interferometry technique to provide the highest levels of accuracy, sensitivity and resolution. So it's a distributed measurement. Now we can see inside the, the photonics integrated circuit with high special resolution and identify um, events with high loss or high reflections and, and, and characterize different parts of the chip. Um, with this technology, we developed three instruments. The Luna 6415 uh, has the highest measurement speed, up to 12 measurements per second. The OBR4600 has the best special resolution and dynamic range. And the OVA5000 um, is an all parameters analysis instrument, which can measure the complete transfer function of the DOT. And from that, you can calculate a lot of optical parameters, linear optical parameters, such as uh, chromatic dispersion, uh, phase, um, uh, polarization, dependent loss, and polarization mod dispersion. Here we have a quick comparison summary of the three solutions we have for characterizing photonics integrated circuit. Um, Luna 6415, OBR4600, and the OVA5000. All of these instruments don't have to come back to factory for calibration. Everything can be done on site by the user. Uh, with one exception, the Luna 6415 has an automatic optics alignment and self-calibration functions so once you turn on the instrument, it will go through those cycles quickly and should be ready for taking measurements. Um, OBR4600 can only work in the reflection mode, unlike the Luna 6415 and the OVA5000. Um, however, it has the best uh, dynamic range and the best special resolution, which allow users to see much more inside the chip for high demanding applications. When it comes to polarization and phase measurement, OBR4600 and the OVA5000 can provide a lot of data, but the complete information um, is, is offered only by the OVA5000. To demonstrate the testing capabilities of the OBR4600, here we have a one meter spiral delay line fabricated on a silicon photonics chip that's uh, one centimeter square in size. Um, the ultimate goal was to able to see um, the front and, fat and back facet of the waveguide and, and see the back scatter. And from that, we can calculate the distributed loss across this delay line. Uh, in addition to this, um, uh, because of the 10 micrometer uh, sampling resolution, the OBR is able to identify reflective events that are uh, 20 micrometers apart or more. In this case, uh, we were able to see the waveguide crossings and they were 50 micrometers apart. Luna 6415 is used to characterize 
the fiber brag ratings in the time domain and the spectrum domain. The Luna 6415 has 20 meter measurement range, so um, your your device under test can be a few meters away from from the instruments, and you still can um, uh, zoom at the area of interest and display information versus distance and wavelength. Here we zoomed um, on the uh, gratings, and in the time domain you can uh, find the location of the grating, the width, and the shape, uh, which is um, an important information for, I'm sure, many designers. On the other hand, if you display the information of any of the, those gratings in the spectrum domain, uh, you can clearly identify the center frequency with higher resolution. Um, it's worth mentioning that the 6415 has uh, 12 measurements per second speed, which is really ideal when it comes to active alignment of for example, the fiber to the to the chip, so you can use the instrument to minimize the reflections at that point, as well as uh, improve the coupling efficiency. In this example, we are trying to characterize uh, a grating waveguide on chip, and we are using the OVA 5000. As I mentioned earlier, the OVA 5000 can be used in the reflection mode or in the transmission mode. Um, the picture on the top shows the data uh, when the unit is used in the uh, reflection mode and you can clearly see the reflections from the input um, facet and the end facet as well as the grating, uh, bright grating profile. Uh, the lower left picture, um, this is the data versus distance uh, when the unit is used in the transmission mode. And if you use the lunar analysis software, you can select only the grating reflection and easily observe the different TM and TE polarization effects in the spectral response. Um, the picture on the lower right, uh, the bottom right, you can see two data, one in red, one in blue. Uh, the, the, the red data is the amplitude response of the overall waveguide. Uh, which which is dominated by the uh, front and end facet, and uh, and the blue uh, amplitude response is when you only look at the grating profile, and um, you can clearly see the the contribution from the TE and TM mode and their effect on the amplitude response.